to borrow a phrase from the old TV show X-Files, the truth is out there. Well, people in the Navajo Nation have been trying to figure out what crash landed in the high desert. A Navajo Tribal Council delegate shared a picture of what looks like a satellite sitting behind his house. Team 12's William Pitts went to find out what it really is. The whole Roswell UFO incident started with one guy in the middle of nowhere who found something weird. Tully Begay found something weird in the high desert on Wednesday. Spaceship or satellite. Sitting right behind Tully Begay's house, his grandson watched it land. This thing came to a landing far from pretty much anything, in between the towns of Kayenta and Denihatso on the Navajo Reservation. People were calling me and they were asking me what was going on at the house. A bunch of solar panels, some electronic hardware, looking very much out of this world. A uh, parachute, parachute, there's an orange parachute that was... It came down with it. Navajo Council Delegate Nate Brown shared the photo, joking that if it was aliens, they should bring a COVID vaccine with them. But the most likely explanation is probably a lot more boring and does not include a cure for COVID. It's probably a weather balloon, just like the UFO at Roswell, but this time from Google. Google has been launching weather balloons with little miniature cell towers attached to them. It's called Project Loon. They hope to bring internet access to remote areas of the world. The balloons can stay up for about a year and carry a payload that looks an awful lot like what dropped near Tully Begay's house. There's even flight tracking data on those balloons. This one started off in Nevada, then crossed the country, went to the Caribbean, then finally popped up again off the coast of California and landed on the Navajo Reservation, right by Kayenta. So not little green men from Mars, probably more like little IT guys from Google and an out of this world story on the reservation. We tried reaching out to Project Loon to see if what crashed was really part of their program. They have not responded. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, Lindsay, I don't care what it is. Anything falling from the sky is a problem for me. Yeah, I, but that is kind of cool. Think about that. A balloon staying in the air for a year? Mm -hmm. That's pretty wild. Long